another episode of M&M's Running Adventures AM. Out running on a trail, just not far from Bundaberg. Last time I came through here was just after some pretty heavy rains and this area, or a bit down further into the gorge, turns into oh, just a thundering water but it had actually come up quite deep. So this bit that I'm running on was just covered in trees. So I didn't hold my hopes too high when I turned off down this particular trail, whether or not they would have cleared it, but they have, they've done an excellent job. The other trails are all clear anyway, but they do a really, really good job in maintaining the promised land. Mountain biking trails. So, him and I are running 30 k's today. Um, we're up to 21. So, we've got a bit further to go, but every kilometre is a kilometre closer. Um, she's doing amazing. She's much better on trails like this, where she hasn't got too much um, width to think about. Occasionally, she'll see a kangaroo and dragged me off in that direction but she knows if I say the word leave it I mean leave it because it hurts my knees if I get dragged too fast it's nice when I get dragged uphill but we stop for swims don't we to cool off and have a drink I think she enjoys it I hope she does a bit like me I mean I enjoy it but it's an emotional roller coaster you have highs and lows you love being out here and you wish you were done and back at the car having a coffee <laughs> but um, then you love it again and you feel like you could go on for another 30 k's but she's loving it sometimes she has her nose to the ground sniffing out whatever's been along this trail previously she loves to sniff out the lizards at home so I know she'd be after them, but she's a good girl. She really is. I couldn't imagine running without her actually, but I do have the entries open tomorrow for the Noosa Ultra Trail next March. And seeing as I didn't do it last year, they've actually forwarded my entrance fee, which wasn't cheap over to this year's or over to 2023 and this time jade would like to run 30 and ro would like to run the 50 or 30. so we're all planning on going down there in march so i'll have to get some proper training in again so that i'm up to running that sort of distance again at the moment 30 is probably my my max but i've been concentrating on lifting heavy weights and doing some plyometrics to make my left knee that little bit stronger to trail running because trail running is not just running straight forward obviously it's side to side on uneven ground so and it aggravates my knee so plyometrics is good for that with all the ups and downs and twists and backwards and forwards and jumping and then on top of that heavy weight lifting which is not only good for strengthening my legs but also keeping my upper body with some muscle on it so that my lower body doesn't start eating the muscles up the top um, and obviously I'm having to increase protein intake to protect those muscles um, so I think I know a bit more what I'm aiming for this time and how to protect, protect how to protect my body further and obviously being close to 50 my bone density starts becoming a more of an issue year after year and you're smelling something then <laughs> um, and lifting heavy weights is the way to keep your bones laying down more calcium and more density to protect them from the dreaded osteoporosis so 
I aim to keep them as strong as I can so that I can keep doing this for many, many years to come. It looks like we're getting closer and closer to the creek in. When I hit it last time, I think I was nearly up to my waist crossing it. But we might have to get wet, I'm not sure. Keep going. Smells pretty down here, it smells like lemon. The lemon scented gum trees. Oh yeah, we will have to get a little bit wet in. Sounds pretty, doesn't it? You gonna walk straight over? It's okay, that's just a rock. <laughs> She's funny. Gonna go this way in? In this way? Oh, that feels nice on my feet. My feet are so hot. How was that good? Okay, back up the hill. Squelchy feet. Yeah, this trail is called, trail is called the Cow and Bones Trail. It's the one of the harder mountain biking trails. This one and something called Pin and Grinnet. Um, but the others are set out for the kids. It's a gorgeous place, it honestly is. And obviously it's not normally green like this in the winter. It's normally dry and you probably wouldn't come out here with the risk of bushfires, but we've had the best winter rain-wise and we've had in years, thanks to La Nina. La Nina, that's how you say it. Down this way. Good girl. Anyway, if anyone's followed me all the way through to the end, because I know that's a long video, Thanks for watching. Keep going in. Up you go. Up you go. Good girl. And hopefully I'll take some more when we do some different adventures around the place. So bye from him. And bye from him. See you next time. He wants a drink. You can't go too far, sweetie. Turn around. Nice swim. Oh, it's a nice cool off, isn't it? Can't go too far. I can't let her off out here. She'd track, if she smelt something she wanted to chase, she'd be off. Turn around him. It's a bit difficult with this on at the end. And I'd never find you again, would I, if you started chasing something? Oh, let's go. Up the hill and we say goodbye. Pick your nose up, free trip over it. Good girl. Okay, see you guys.